Welcome back everyone, today we're going to modify the V Wii mode on a Wii U so we can load Wii Homebrew in the virtual Wii mode on the Wii U. So to do this we need an SD card, it has to be an SD card, it can't be SDHD or any of the newer forms and it has to be lower than 2GB. Um, you need a copy of Super Smash Bros Brawl for the Wii, uh, the same region as your Wii and you need some files which I've already put on the SD card so let me pop this in my card reader now there we go, and we'll come back to the PC here. Right, so this is the root of my SD card, which we just need to sort out a bit. Um, the hack file that we're actually going to load by the game, Super Smash Brothers, is here. ST smash stack pk underscore no save dot bin. I'm using this version because I don't have any save file presently, but if you did have a save file, you'd use the other version. I'll put links in the description. So we need to put this in a certain directory structure. First we'll call it private. This is the same for all game saves, so lowercase and um, we'll just call it private. Then in there we'll create a new directory called Wii. New folder Wii. And in there we create a new directory. New folder. called app and then there we create a new folder called RSBP which is part of the serial number for the game and it's in uppercase RSBP all in uppercase and then here we create one more folder called ST and place that in there Right, now we go back to the root of our SD card, so just click there, and we grab the hack, which is the save file, and we're going to cut it and place it in the root, in, well, all the way down the directory tree in that directory tree we just created. So there we go. So that's uh, the hack sorted on the SD card. Next, we're going to sort out our homebrew. We're going to use a Sega Master System emulator with the ROM uh, Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap, which is a backup of a ROM we own. It's an awesome game. So to do this we need to for all Wii Homebrew you create a folder called apps on the SD card, like so. And then in apps we drag our homebrew into it. Let's do that again. So we drag our which is our homebrew is the S Sega Master System emulator. All homebrew must be named boot.doll if you have an icon for the homebrew, you name it icon.png and then you put that in a subfolder for the whatever it's called. So in this case it's SMS plus. So we put our homebrew in a folder by its name in the apps folder, like so. Let's go back to the root of our SD card. Um, how do we do the ROMs? I think it's SMS plus backslash ROMs. So let's create a folder called SMS plus here on the root. This might be wrong. I might have to redo this. SMS plus and a new folder called ROMs. Like so. And then get the ROM and we'll pop it in there. Back to the root. And now we need to do the hat me install. Basically, all we want from this is to get the boot.elf and we'll just copy it, put it on the root of the SD card. Right, so that's our SD card set up. Now we need to go to the Wii U and sort it out on the Wii U. So I'll come back to you once I've booted it. Right, so I've got my Wii U booted up here. I just want to go into my system settings first and disable the internet temporarily, just while I install the, the, the exploit. Because if you don't do this, um, when Smash Brothers connects to the internet, it'll try and download a sample stage in the stage builder, which we don't want it to do. So we're just going to um, temporarily disable the internet, install the homebrew channel, and then we can re-enable it. So let's click next. Let's click next. All right, back, back, and internet. And we've got connect to the internet, and we'll just mess up our settings. Hmm. Connection list. How do I delete them? There we go. Delete, delete. Right, so I'm just going to delete all my settings and then just re-add it afterwards. Okay. 
Okay. And the top one. Delete. Delete. Right, so now my Wii's got no internet connection. Wii U's got no internet connection, it's offline. So let's return to our Wii menu. And we'll go the Wii U menu and we'll go into the Wii actual menu. Takes its time. It's gonna get speeded up in the next update. Right, so now we'll click on Wii, so we can go into the Wii system menu. Next. So now we continue. Let's just start. So let's just start. Let's continue. Okay, doc. So now we need to be on the television only, and we click on the Wii menu. Right. So it should be in the Wii system menu here. Oh, it's taking its time. There we go, it has done. So let's press uh, A. Come on. It is taking its time. Wow, this is slow. There we go. Right, so what we're going to do now is put our copy of Smash Brothers Brawl in. So, enter the front of our Wii U. And it is up. We don't put our SD card in yet until we've booted the game. Because if the Wii detects this, the hack um, in the system menu here, it'll just delete it. So we boot the game and then we insert the SD card. When it sees that we can boot. There we go. Let's click start. Right, don't create a new serve. Uh, no. Continue without serving. Right, skip your intro. Right, so we've got this vault for make new stages, I do believe. Got a stage builder. Right, so now we're going to pop in the SD card. Like so. And would you look at that? Straight hacks. Valid elf file detected. Straight into the hack main installer. Well, that was awesome. I have to pick a file to load it, just did it automatically. Awesome sauce. So, you have to watch this disclaimer for a few seconds before we can press A or 2 or plus or whatever it is. Hackme.com is where we got the, the installer from, and I'll put all the links in the description. Right, now we can press 1. Um, we just want to install the homebrew channel, so continue. Install the homebrew channel. Yes, continue. Installing the homebrew channel. Success. Continue. Uh, exit. Now, I think it likes it. There we go. Homebrew channel. And it's automatically spotted my mass system emulator that I put on. So let's try and load that. SMS uh, plus. Let's say continue. Um, 
Load new game. Load SD. We've got the directory right. Sees our Wonderboy 3, the Dragon's Trap. And it loads it straight away. To home. And we'll do system reboot. And that should exit us to the system menu. We'll eject our copy of Smash Brothers. Because you don't actually need that anymore. And you can see that the homebrew channel is now in the system menu. So anytime we want to run Wii Homebrew on our Wii U, we can now we can now run it here. There's been a few updates for the Wii U so far as well, and they haven't bothered removing the exploit. So you can see it's working again. Um, yeah, they've just not bothered to uh, do anything in the Wii mode. They've just updated the Wii U mode. So we can run our Wii Homebrew on our Wii U's. So I hope you enjoyed in this video. If you did, please rate and subscribe. And join us in the next video when we do something else cool. Right now, I'm going to play some Wonder Boy. Before you use Monster World. So if anyone's interested, in this game you start off from the last game with all your heart pieces and um, the Master Sword, and well it's not called the Master Sword in this game, I think it's Excalibur or whatever. But you start off with all your cool equipment and we're going to lose it. This game is really good fun. And it's got awesome music. Got the key. I think one of these skeletons drops a key. Maybe not. So I have to go fight the Mecha Dragon. Oh my god. It's all about timing this boss. You basically gotta jump and whack. And I'm sucking, but it is all about timing. <laughs> god, I suck. I only bet this recently, but I played on the Master System. Ah, uh, he's almost pawned. One more hit. Yeah. So now we turn it into Dragon Man, which is our first, like, dude. We've got to escape this collapsing castle, and when we do, that's when we start the game for reals. Back down to like three heart pieces. How did normally start an RPG? This is by far the best action RPG on the Master System. There's fantasy star for your turn based RPGs, but this the action RPG is amazing. Oh no, the roof's collapsing!
and now proceed with your adventurous undertaking wonder by three the dragon's trap One star? Jesus! Right, so there you go. That's how I hack a Wii View for the Wii Mode Homebrew. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please rate and subscribe. And join us next time when we do something else cool. Bye, everybody.